Is that too much of a clickbait title? I don't know, but it's quite fascinating to watch BuzzFeed tear itself apart right now. I mean, one of the largest digital media companies is just in total chaos. And it all started yesterday with a tweet um, by the BuzzFeed News Union Twitter account that showed a picture of five uh, BuzzFeed News employees that are part of the, the union uh, sitting there at some conference room. And they tweeted out saying, we uh, are here waiting to meet with the rest of BuzzFeed management to further our negotiations with the union. And we just received an email from the head of HR that says uh, BuzzFeed management will not be attending our three hour long meeting. <laughs> Which means the BuzzFeed management just totally said, no, nah, we're not showing up, we're bouncing. Uh, and this comes on about two months now since BuzzFeed News said they wanted to unionize and you know join a coalition of people within I mean, the editorial team that worked at BuzzFeed News and you know got together and unionized and said, like, let's meet with management. And BuzzFeed's management said, yes, we, are, we, you know, we want to willingly recognize the union. And then they stalled. And they've been stalling for almost two months now. And as of yesterday, they didn't even bother showing up at the meeting, even though publicly they're like, oh, yeah, we're happy to willingly recognize the union. But the great irony is that these people all have to work together, right? So the people in the BuzzFeed News union took the day off from work I mean, like, to go have a conference meeting with lawyers at some office in Manhattan you know, to meet with Ben Smith and the other, you know, Jonah Peretti and the other heads of BuzzFeed and BuzzFeed's lawyers and BuzzFeed's HR lanky. And then, <laughs> and then their bosses didn't show up. Which I, I mean, that dynamic is so weird because then you just have to come back to work the next day to meet and interact with these people. But nonetheless, this is the situation as it is. And this is on top of Zay Frank, the head of BuzzFeed Video, just leaving, the guy who basically invented the BuzzFeed Video brand, just left. And Shawnee Hilton just left, who was kind of uh, the vice president of BuzzFeed News, Ben Smith's kind of second in command. Ben Smith is the editor in chief of BuzzFeed News. So Shawnee, the second command of BuzzFeed News, is left. Zay Frank, the head of all of BuzzFeed Video, just, you know, left, left randomly. And Jason Reich, who was kind of the head of all journalist security, just left randomly. So not only are major key players in the, the origins of BuzzFeed just kind of leaving, but BuzzFeed management has now stopped showing up for the meetings uh, with, with, with the BuzzFeed union. Now, why aren't they showing up for the meetings? Well, they say the outward facing reason, of course, is that BuzzFeed News' union wants to be recognized as an editorial union as a unit versus BuzzFeed wants to recognize the union as like individual title unions. What does that actually mean in simple terms? That means like BuzzFeed, the company wants to recognize the union as in titles. So like a producer title, a reporter title, a writer title, you know, um, a curator title. Like here are four different titles and anybody that gets a job on those four titles in BuzzFeed News will automatically be part of the union or will have the option of joining a union. And people not in those titles, like let's say you're a, an editor or above the reporters, you therefore would not be part of the union um, and therefore you would not be subject to like whatever union agreement had been struck between the BuzzFeed News Union and BuzzFeed Management, the company, right? That's what the BuzzFeed company wants, is to kind of say like, you know, it's based on titles and ex these titles will be considered part of the union and, when, and especially if we hire people, if we hire them as journalists then they'll be part of the union. If we hire them as an editor, then they won't be part of the union. That's what BuzzFeed, the company wants. Now BuzzFeed, the union, what they want is to be recognized as an entire editorial unit, which is just to recognize everybody in the newsroom as one unit, like we are but the BuzzFeed, you know, BuzzFeed News Union um, and to negotiate as one solid, solid block. <clears throat> so that's the outside reasons of what each side wants. And even though BuzzFeed, the company is like, oh yeah, we're willing to recognize the union, they're not even showing up anymore. And BuzzFeed News' union is getting more and more aggressive online. In fact, the mayor of New York City, Bill de Blasio, even tweeted at BuzzFeed yesterday saying like, I can't believe you didn't show up for the BuzzFeed News union meeting. When you didn't show up for the BuzzFeed News union meeting, you didn't show up for any New Yorkers, you've let us down. This is the mayor of New York City tweeting this to BuzzFeed saying like, can't believe you guys didn't show up, you know, this is terrible. And then BuzzFeed responds to the mayor, BuzzFeed, the company responds to the mayor of New York City saying like, eh, you know, it doesn't help that a mayor highly unpopular, you know, with journalists and the public is weighing in like this mayor has no idea what they're talking about. So not only do we have the BuzzFeed News Union, which is at total war with BuzzFeed, the company, you also have the mayor of New York City weighing in. And on top of that, you have the head of all the entertainment side you know, ejecting from the company. You have the vice president of the news side ejecting from the company and you have the head of security ejecting from the company. I mean, it's just in total free fall. So you might be wondering, though, why won't BuzzFeed the company just recognize the union? It's been two months now, and the average I mean, of companies recognizing editorialized unions and like newsrooms is like a month. That was kind of how it was with the New York Times or Huffington Post or Vice or the other places that have unionized. Why doesn't BuzzFeed recognize the union? Well, 
this come, the unionization efforts came after a long list of layoffs that happened earlier this year when they laid off about 15% of the company and most of those layoffs hit the newsroom. That is what was the catalyst that wanted, that made the newsroom want to unionize over at the entertainment side. So also to add a complexity to, the, to BuzzFeed, there's two parts of the company at BuzzFeed. There's the entertainment side and the news side and they operate relatively autonomously, right? And so the entertainment side, Buzz, BuzzFeed Entertainment Group slash BuzzFeed Motion Pictures, that's mainly in LA, hasn't unionized at all, whereas the New York news side is, is unionizing actively. So you have this weird dichotomy split where the entertainment side isn't unionizing at all, the news side is unionizing, but then BuzzFeed won't meet with the group to actually like, you know, acknowledge the union. Now, what is going on here? <clears throat> well, what I conjecture, which is what I've talked about in earlier videos, BuzzFeed, the company, is slowing down the negotiations because they're looking to either sell them off or merge. And it's much easier to merge with another company or get acquired or sell off a, a unit when you don't have a union underneath it because no company wants to then buy a company that already has a union you know, attached to it. It makes it hard to like, hire, fire people, move people around. It makes it bloated and it just adds a lot more costs. And so they can stall that union for as long as possible. They can either merge, sell, get an acquisition or do something you know, quick. And my $100 bet is that's what's happening behind the scenes with the BuzzFeed company. Is they're, they're trying to figure out a way of like, uh, do we need to like spin off BuzzFeed News as its own company? Do we need to like sell it to the Emerson Collective? Are we merging with now this? Like we, we got to figure something out and we got to do this before like we recognize the union because this is just going to make it even more difficult. So basically, that's what I think is really going on if I was to make some uh, educated guesses. On top of that, I think it's really hilarious that the BuzzFeed News Union somehow thinks they're in any leveraged position to actually get anything from the company, as if the company is just out of their goodwill, you know, oh, it's a liberal company, we're going to recognize the union. The company doesn't care. The company doesn't care at all. The company cares about money. And if they think like the union is going to be a detriment to them raising capital or making profits or hitting their revenue, you know, marks, then they'll get rid of the union. They'll, they'll fire all of you guys before they you know, recognize the union. I think you're starting to see this realization happen with the people that so boldly led the charge back in January to quickly unionize you know, and fight against you know, further layoffs, is that really what's gonna happen is they're, they're gonna you know, unionize themselves right out of a job. But anyway, that's what's going on with uh, BuzzFeed the company. It's in total chaos at the moment. It's, it's got wars with itself. It's got wars with the mayor of New York City. It's got wars between BuzzFeed Entertainment and BuzzFeed News. It's got a union war with the lawyer law war. It's just it's just a mess. It's, it's insane to watch here from New York City. Anyway, if you want to suggest another video to talk about, leave a comment down below, or I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on what are going on with BuzzFeed, if you find this interesting at all, that it, the once the crown jewel of the digital media company, you know, the kind of unicorn that was, you know, everybody said in 2010, is now just in like basically open civil war within the company. Uh, curious to see your thoughts and see if you're entertained by this as much as I am. Anyway, if you want to watch another video and click around, uh, thanks as always for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow.